Hello and welcome back to Chinese Zero to Hero. This is another one of those grammar mistake analysis videos. Here we help you avoid some of the common mistakes in Chinese and get you speaking more correctly. But please be aware that these videos are intended for beginners and do not cover all possible use cases. Rather than being exhaustive and overcomplicate things, we are trying to keep things as simple as possible so it can be less confusing and more helpful for beginners. With that being said, let's get started. In this video, let's take a look at some of the most common mistakes beginners make with the word zai. Zai, as you probably know, means to be at or to be located in. For example, 我在中国 means I'm in China, or if you're not in China, you can say 我不在中国. Now let's take a look at two common mistakes with zai. The first type of problems is redundant zai. That means Sometimes a student may add a zai when it's not really needed. For example, consider this sentence, 在我的国家没有网. 在我的国家没有网. Here, the zai is redundant. We should really get rid of it and say, 我的国家没有网. 我的国家没有网. Another example, instead of saying, 在外面下雨, we should simply say, 外面下雨. 外面下雨. It rains outside. The reason is the word xiaoyu acts more like an adjective here. For example, we can substitute it with 外面很冷, it's cold outside. 外面刮风, it's windy outside. But if you're describing some kind of action, for example playing, you should say 在外面玩, 在外面玩, play outside. For example, 今天外面下雨,不能在外面玩. 今天外面下雨, and here's another sentence a student wrote. Celebrity zai zhongwen The problem here is zai zhongwen. Usually, when we say something in Chinese, we do not add zai. Instead, we simply say zhongwen Celebrity zhongwen How do you say celebrity in Chinese? Celebrity zhongwen Or celebrity yong zhongwen Celebrity 用中文怎么说? Literally meaning using Chinese. 用中文. Celebrity 用中文怎么说? All right, so that was the first common mistakes with 在, adding it when it's not really needed. The second type of mistakes people make with 在 is missing prepositions. Oftentimes, the word 在 cannot be used alone. It has to be used together with a preposition like 里, 下, 上, etc. So if the preposition goes missing, the sentence can sound off. For example, 他在日常生活给了我很多的帮助. 他在日常生活给了我很多的帮助. This sounds off because we should say 他在日常生活上给了我很多的帮助. 在 something 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 上 means when it comes to something, right? With regard to something. 在日常生活上, in daily life, in the aspect of daily life, in the area of daily life, when it comes to daily life. 在日常生活上. If this 上 goes missing, it sounds weird. So missing prepositions is a big problem. And here's another sentence that a student wrote. 我每天在我的房间复习。我每天在我的房间复习. The sentence is not technically wrong, but usually, usually, more commonly, we say, 我每天在我的房间里复习. 我每天在我的房间里复习. Usually, when we are talking about being inside a confined space, we add 里, 在我的房间里. 在什么什么地方里? Another example. 我们在操场踢足球呢? 我们在操场踢足球呢? Again, technically, this is not wrong, but it's less common. Usually, we say, 我们在操场上踢足球呢? 我们在操场上踢足球呢? All right, so these are the two types of mistakes with 在. Now let's do some practice and see if we can detect mistakes with 在 and correct them. Number one, what's the problem with this sentence? 
。我在二零一八年来到中国。我在二零一八年来到中国。We should remove the 在 and say 我二零一八年来到中国。我二零一八年来到中国。With years, we do not use 在 usually. The second example: What's wrong with this sentence? 我们看看在课本的第四课。我们看看在课本的第四课。That's right. We shouldn't use 在 We should say 我们看看课本的第四课。Let's look at lesson four in the textbook. 我们看看课本的第四课。In Chinese, we do not say look at. We simply say look. 看看啊，不是看看在。看看课本，不是看看在课本。And that was a quick overview of some of the most common mistakes with the word 在 Here's a review sheet for your reference. You can take a screenshot of this and save it to your phone. And please don't forget to like this video if you find it helpful, and subscribe to our channel so you won't miss the next common mistakes video when it comes out. And the word 在 is taught in more detail in our HSK Level One course. To find out more about this course, you can tap on the square button to the left. I'll see you in the next video.